Hello my friends and welcome back to another episode in this let's play of Alan Wake 2. I hope that now we have reached the witch's hut, the autosave will bring us back where I expect us to be. Okay, it did, but that was scary. All right, so we got a letter down by the big tree, which told us to come here. And now we have another manuscript letter thing here to read. Let's see what it says. The image of the witch in the sign. Saga addressed the witch. The smudged line on the heart. The second part recited from memory. I brought you the heart, witch. Show me the terror. Saga pushed the heart through the hole in the sign. Um, I don't really want to do that. Let's witch read the whole thing. Old, towering over Saga, watching her and the witch. The image of the witch in the sign. Nightingale's heart, a cold, dead lump in her hand. Her definition of sanity had changed since she arrived in this town. But she trusted the pages. Was forced to. Saga addressed the witch. She squinted to read the first part of the ritual words. The smudged line on the heart. The second part recited from memory. The words she had read on the page. I brought you the heart, witch. Show me the terror. Saga pushed the heart through the hole in the sign. This was the key. The tree was the threshold. I don't really want to be shown the terror. God damn it. Uh, okay, Alex Casey lunchboxes. Lunchbox found near the Cauldron Lake campground. Is that, that one here? Uh, murder at Cauldron Lake. Did I? Oh. Is that automatic? Okay, some of it was automatic. Thanks. Uh, bright light provides protection. Keep an eye out for more places like this. Um, the page from the witch's hut seems to be describing some kind of ritual. What is the ritual? Well, it seems like we probably have to take the heart uh, and press it into the tree. We don't have the heart here. So let's add... Uh, looks like those words tattooed on the heart are a part of the ritual. Keep What's... trying. There we go. To get into the overlap, I need to find Nightingale's heart. Read the line imprinted on it, plus the line on the page to the witch's ladle sign. Then push the heart through the hole in the sign. Sounds Nightingale's easy heart enough. Disappeared from the morgue. Where oh. is it now? That's a good point. Uh, I don't know where the heart is. So we should be able to profile Nightingale. I need Nightingale's heart to get to the overlap. Where is it? The cultist leaned close. He was there, but he was risen. Nightingale was there. The opposite of sunspots. Who said that? That's not it. I don't have what I need to find Nightingale's heart. There must be more. Nightingale's heart. Where is it? Meanwhile, they played cards in the general store. The witch had stolen his heart. Get out of my house. Nightingale's heart is at the general store, in a fridge. Okay. I don't really want to go back. Uh... Uh, I think I walked by an abandoned general store near the murder site. Yeah, we did. We went through it. It's annoying to have gone through this area that we now need to go back to, you know? Uh, I 
need to check the general store for the heart. Where the frick is Casey, man? Casey! I'm headed to the general store. I think I know how to get into the overlap. Uh, roger that. I followed some ATV tracks in the woods and got a bit turned around. Did you get lost? I've only been lost once in my life, Anderson. The years I spent with my ex-wife. I'll find my way back, don't you worry about it. Alright. Quick save and manual save because I don't trust the quick save. Damn, I've been playing this for two hours. Alright, so... Oh, that doesn't sound good. Yo, what just happened to the sound? It's weird. Um... it to do with the graphics? Hang on a second. Alright, doesn't look like the system is under too much load. Nightingale mentioned the general store. I need to check it out. So... Oh, this is really annoying. Hang on. Uh, let me try restarting. Alright, so I restarted the game. It seems a little bit better now. Let's see how we go. That's so strange. I wonder what was causing it. Alright, so we're gonna head back to the general store. And if I'm not mistaken... Uh, the general store is up this path. Which... appears to be blocked off. What the hell? I could have sworn I came from there. Oh, here it is. Please, please spare me the jump scares. Oh my god. Yep. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, I, you know, I wish... I was talking to my wife about this, right? I wish so badly that games like these had, you know, you have a difficulty um, option where you can set it to, you know, story mode, hard mode, easy mode. I wish so badly that there were an option for scariness levels for people like me who just want to enjoy it. Oh, what the hell? All right. It's one of the cultists. A cultist. A monster. Like Nightingale. Using a trauma pad. I don't even know what my health is. Um, trauma pad. Heal. Oh, right. Wait, what did I do? Okay. So, using a trauma pad will take... the flashlight away.
That's where the heart is. It's another manuscript page. Can't pick that up. And there's the heart. The text on the heart is clearer now. Legible. The wave crashed on the far side of the mirror. Alright. That same issue with the audio. This is driving me crazy. Um, Alright. Case board. What's on the heart? Uh, legible. Sounds literary. But what does it mean? The wave crashed on the far side of the mirror. I brought you the heart, which show me the terror. Um. Oh, we missed this one last time. Saga edged toward the broken door. Her gun ready. Flashlight aimed ahead. Nightingale said it would be here. The Cauldron Lake General Store was overgrown, left to rot. Saga thought about the cult of the tree. They had been here, waiting, planning a gruesome ritual murder. Meanwhile, they played cards in the general store, like it was just another late-night poker game. Saga stepped closer to the door. Had the animal broken it? There was a loud crash. Saga found herself face to face with a cultist. A hulking figure in a raincoat. We watch in the night. Wild eyes behind a plastic deer mask. An axe in his raised hand. I'm not sure if... If this refers to the cultist that we just encountered. Uh, okay. Can we take the heart? Okay, exit. I feel like I recognize this. The fridge. The heart. I knew it would be here. Like I saw it in a dream. And now I need to give the heart to the witch. Makes total sense. So... I'm pretty sure something is going to jump out right about now. Where the hell is Casey? Also. Casey, there are cultists in the area. They're taken, like Nightingale. Watch yourself out there. Yeah, thanks for the heads up. I'm still finding my way back. You have the worst sense of direction. <laughs> Any city in America I can get through drunk and blindfolded. It's these damn trees. Okay. Okay. I'm en route to Witch's Ladle. I need to perform a ritual to open the overlap. This case just keeps getting weirder. But it is exciting. Alright, what is the best way to Witch's Ladle? Follow this down. Okay. I guess this light is a safe area. Which is laid all down here. I hope the audio isn't gonna be this well, glitchy every time it rains. Something just changed in the atmosphere. Is it me or did it get brighter? 
Like, it was not this bright. Last time we were down here. But is it because we put the fuse on and now these lights are... Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Did not like that. In the overlap. Are you still on your way? Casey! Probably Casey, should have read me. Probably Fuck. should have radioed him before. Okay, Saga. Going in solo. Before entering the overlap solo. Logan? Mom, help. Logan! Where are you? What the fuck was that? What the hell? Logan's back in Virginia. You're imagining things. Auto saving going on here. Would you please help me? Is what that Alan Wake? Wait. Did I get turned around? No, this is right. This place is looping. Like a nightmare. Just updated for us. Need to find Nightingale. Saga, I think you need to find Alan Wake. What the hell? Who is that? 
It's like they're coming in over a bad signal. What are you trying to tell us, Alan? Isn't that the witch's ladle? Nightingale's badge. Wait, did I not pick it up? I can't freaking see anything. Oh, this is so stupid. It's like a subway. Game saved again. Something is coming up. Please stop. Stop it, daddy. So my flashlight can also run out of boost. This is not great. Didn't know that. out of bullets soon just so you know Alan maybe you can write me an escape from here well you could write me bullets as well I guess but I would much rather be God. Can you stop? This is getting kind of old. I want to go back to investigating.
drop it. Oh my god. Great, no ammo. Like, what do you want me to do? Can you please ride again, Ryder? Because I have no idea where I'm going. Hey, I'm done. I don't know. I have no bullets. I have nothing. I don't like it when games do this, man. It's so stupid, like... Okay, what the hell am I supposed to do? Oh my god. It's like nowhere to go. This whole thing is a joke. trying to do to me. I just, I don't know, man. This is just getting frustrating now. Again, man. What the hell is this? supposed to kill me okay just just do it dude I'm so dumb with this Very stupid. Very stupid indeed. Like, I'm on the story mode difficulty, dude. Can you just... Difficulty story. Like, what the hell is this? Like, do I just need to only hit him in the head? Do that bit. I get this stuff. I think those are all headshots. Okay. 
That's three. We got him three times. times. Still got some ammo. I think this is also kind of why our games really struggle with maintaining immersion. Just like stupid stuff like this, you know? Stop it, dude. Yes, I should heal. How many more times is he gonna come here? For God's sake. Do not show me the terror, dude. Thank God. In danger. The dark presence. Danger. Thanks. Got it. Are you okay? Oh, no! It's my fault! It got out with my face! Scratch! Sir, calm down. I'm gonna need you to take a breath. He's... he's changed the story. The d dark presence. We must stop it before... Easy now. First things first. What's your name? My name is Alan Wake. I'm a writer. I, I've been... Wake? Where did you come from? You've been missing for 13 years. 13. All right, that was the end of the chapter. As I learned last time, we have to progress past this to get the autosave, so I'm going to do that. The combat is really frustrating in this game. Anders, where did you go? 
All of a sudden, the radio stopped working, and then that flooding just disappeared. A crazy forest. Is this who I think it is? Casey, say hello to Alan Wake. Mr. Wake, this is Special Agent Alex Casey. He'll escort you to our car. Casey, I'll meet you there, right after I take a look around. If the flooding's receded, there might be evidence we missed earlier. Okay. See you there. Alex Casey? How? Am I still... Is this the dark place? No, it can't be. I got out. Yeah, the P.I. from your books has the same name as me. Great. Moving on. Should look around. With the flooding gone, could be further clues out there. The flooding disappeared very suddenly. I wonder if there's any connection to the overlap. To Nightingale. Not seeing any immediate clues. If you see pages of writing anywhere, you must take them and keep them safe. Our lives could depend on it. They have vital information. We know about the pages, Wake. We'll keep an eye out for them. Okay. Okay, just give me a moment. It's okay. Take your time. This looks beautiful. All right, clues. Where would you be? If I were a clue, where would I be? Like, this is the sort of thing that I don't have patience for in video games anymore. Like, if you walk up against something that very clearly you would be able to navigate around and you get stuck. It's such a shame, right? Because so much time gets spent on, like, the graphical fidelity, the lighting, but little stuff like this just kind of falls through the cracks. My flashlight is super weak. And once again, the game is way too dark for me to actually see anything. Let alone find clues. We got a manuscript page. Uh... The reality changing influence of the dark place flowed like water flowed, like fear flowed, down the path of least resistance, eroding the weak spots until they cracked. In places where reality was more yielding, where a story told and retold, imagination sparked and fear ignited again and again had softened the walls of reality, sites of violence and tragedy, where truth was laced with fiction, where a work of art proposed an alternative narrative, something people could suspect to be true, something people felt strongly about, something they feared. The stronger the connection between the belief and emotional response, the better, the darker, the better. A ghost of a witch ripping a man's heart from his chest, Two brothers murdering the neighbors and hiding their bodies in a well. A young woman haunting the flooded bunker where she drowned. Bedtime stories, folk tales, urban legends connected to a specific place. These were the sites where the overlaps came to be.
A creepy twig sculpture? The writer went into the lake, banished the dark presence. Taken still lurked in the woods. The dark place receded. The current pulled back those with darkness inside, into the lake. Nightingale was there, one of them. The dark presence, Jagger had taken him. The witch had stolen his heart. They sank beneath the waves. The dark place, wandering in the shadows, muttering to themselves. It's dark, I'm lost. Where am I? Who am I? I can't remember. It's cold. Premium cabins for rent in Bright Falls. Who said that? Can you hear me? I need help. Please, stop this. What did I do? You must dig it out. Their shape shifted. Echoes of the writer's dreams. Fading in, fading out. The next story and the story after that, the writer was writing again. He'd been on the trail of the writer forever. The writer he despised. Hemingway, Bukowski, Wake. I'll get you. I'll find you. I'll make you pay. You're in over your head. He descended into the tunnels, from the dark city, into the ocean of darkness. Next stop, Caldera Street Station. Something, a presence, rumbled. Not a train. Shadows shifted on the platform. The writer's cult waited for him there. The cult of the word. A cultist leaned close. I carry his words close to my chest now. You're not allowed in the lake until he says otherwise. He'd be caught. Murdered. They got him. They didn't get him. He was reborn out of hate. He was there. But he was risen. Sent to find the light switch up from the lake that was not the lake. This, I guess. That didn't work for me. Quick turn. Is. 
They're going backwards twice. Okay. Wait. I thought we were out of here now. Stop. I don't even have any bullets, man. Even the animals are turning into monsters. I was just looking for clues, dude. All I freaking wanted were clues. Today's catch, a yellow perch and a mid-sized pike, almost caught a lake trout but it gave me the slip. Saw an out of town or walking around in the woods just before sunrise, had binoculars or a telescope or something. Taking notes, didn't notice me, good, don't need the attention. Today's catch, just an old rubber boot, some of the regular creepies roaming around again, avoided them as usual. No one notices a quiet old fisherman, not even the fish. Why the hell didn't those two guys come with me and investigate, huh? Streamside. Which find a station. There's something written here. A poem? Or a riddle? Reminds me of the nursery rhymes I read to Logan when she was little. One bird for light, two for darkness, three birds for a fight, four for a struggle, five birds for injury, six for misery, seven for the ending, whatever it may be. A little clothespin doll. Perfect weird souvenir for Logan. Ringside stash, so there must be something stashed for me to open. Because we got the key for the streamside stash.
Then none of these work. So we're heading towards Streamside. That's it, right? Well, I guess that's all of Streamside. Maybe this is a safe spot. No. Oh. Silly. That's uh, manual save. I think that is a good place for us to stop and continue next time. Ooh, there's a... I just want to get the manuscript. Let's see what it says. Uh, the Cult of the Tree. Children in okay. Bright Falls all grew up hearing stories about the Cult of the Tree feral maniacs living in the woods satanists chanting we watch in the night as they perform blood sacrifices in the forest or things not quite human lurking in the dark there were many versions of the story but they all shared one important element danger in the dark in the woods somewhere among all the urban legends lay a secret truth the real identity of the cultists prowling in the woods Real faces hid behind the masks. Real hands held the knives. Real people fulfilling a grim purpose. The forest was not safe. People were right to keep their children away from the trees. Lovely. Uh... Alright, I guess when we come back, we'll continue our dangerous investigation if you enjoyed this episode please make sure to leave a like a comment and of course subscribe to the channel i hope that whatever you will do today you have a great great day free palestine and i'll see you all back here next time goodbye for now